Say cheese. Uh -huh. Go back to mommy. Go back to mommy. Come, come. Okay? Stay right here. Stay and next say to mommy. Cheese. Okay? Uh -huh. You gotta say cheese, okay? One, One two, two. Look at me. Look at me, baby. Cheese. cheese. You don't have to you don't have to bend down like that, babe. <laughs> you don't have to bend down like that. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, it's Melissa and I'm back actually with another video to discuss my top 10 breastfeeding tips that got me to 70 ounces a day. Yes. 70 ounces a day. Um, this is not my first rodeo, my second time around. I had twins in 2018 and I exclusively pumped and then I had my third child, um, a singleton in 2020, my little pre, I call him a pre-pandemic baby, okay, it was before the COVID came out. So let's get into it. We're, today we're going to talk about breastfeeding, exclusively pumping, which is the method that I use, pump, dump, get drunk. <laughs> Um, this is my own shirt from my own, um, uh, my own line that I'm starting, Shop Mills Apparel, coming soon. I'll make sure that you guys have the link to the website in the description. So we're going to talk about all the things that I did to be able to get that amount of milk a day. And it was, it was hard. It wasn't easy. It wasn't a one, two, three. All right, here comes the milk. It took a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of discipline, a lot of consistency, but I made it happen. Um, with my girls, um, I was able to do about 50 ounces a day. It could have been higher. It's just I, I had less time. <laughs> I had half the time to do it. Um, trying to pump in between who's waking up. I didn't have my kids on a schedule, nor did they want to be on a schedule. Um, and that's the truth. They really didn't care to be on a schedule. <laughs> and the NICU they were, but as soon as they got home, they realized, yeah, this is not for us. We're going to do what we want to do when we want to do it. So I had to go all in between that. So to not delay you any longer, let's talk about tip number one. Um, and if you see me looking away from the camera, it's because I have my lips. I don't want to lose track. So number one, liquids, 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 liquids. If you're breastfeeding, whether it's on the boob, or exclusively pumping no matter what you need a ton of liquids you need to be drinking that h2o whatever means necessary whatever it, it, for me i know when i was pregnant it was hard for me to drink straight water so you know it would be vitamin water it would be with little crystal light packet like i would have flavor water it would be gatorade it would be coconut water like whatever so it's hard to kind of transition right after that but you have to drink as much liquids as you can because you are literally sucking or the baby is sucking all that right out of you. So you need to make sure you're as hydrated as possible. And for me, with each time postpartum, I was super, super thirsty afterwards. So whether I wanted to or not, I had to crave, I had to urge, I felt like I was constantly dehydrated. So definitely have to drink a lot of liquids. Number two, filling foods. Now you're gonna be like, Melissa, how am I gonna have time to eat? I'm trying to wash bottles. I'm trying to take care of myself. I'm trying to take care of the baby. I'm trying to take care of my household. I'm still trying to work if you're working postpartum. I mean, but you gotta eat. The snacks don't count. Yes, those are the full of foods, your Cheez-Its, your pretzels, your granola bars, your Rice Krispie treats. Yes, those are that's cool. That's cool to get you to get you through, right? But you have to have a filling meal to hold you over because right afterwards, right after you finish pumping, you're tired, you're exhausted, you feel weak. It took a lot of energy, whether it took you 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour to pump. You gotta make sure you're eating before and after real good. So for us island people, um, I'm Haitian if you guys didn't know. So food like legumes, sospa, things of that nature, okay? Soup jumu. If you don't know what that is, Google it. <laughs> but you gotta have filling foods to hold you over, okay? Number three, cha. Y'all gonna be like, now she done lost her mind. Number three. 
sleep. That's it. And I'm sticking by it. I'm going to say it again. Sleep. Mm hmm Yes, ma'am. You got to sleep. When am I going to sleep? My husband works overnight. My husband doesn't do night shift with the baby. When am I going to sleep? You're going to have to make time. You're going to have to ask somebody, can you please come over so I can get a nap? Can you please stop by? So I can take a look at them. Can you hold the baby? Can you make dinner so I don't have to make it so I can sleep? Like, you have to find it when you can. Again, with me, I had twins. I was sleep deprived. I don't remember the first month. I remember the day that the girls got home, right, from the NICU. It was day 14 or 15 of their life, so two weeks in. I don't remember anything in between that, but then I do remember when they turned one month, like two weeks later, I was up at 1 or 2 a.m. Like, oh my gosh, I got to take their first month photo so I can post it on Facebook so everyone can see them <laughs> at 2 a.m. Because that's when they were up, but you got to sleep. You have to sleep. That's the only way you're going to, your body needs to rest. It needs to reset to then be able to keep going the next day. And that leads into number four, middle of the night pump. If you're anything like me, that's going to be the best pump. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out because the flash went off, so I thought my phone died, but it did. <laughs> but middle of the night pump is essential. That's why you got to sleep. That is when you're going to produce your most amount of milk. At least I can say that for myself. 2 a.m., 6 a.m., I mean, yes, that's your deep sleep. That's the REM sleep, but that's when you're going to get that. Ooh. And then the next best one after that, I would have to say that, that first morning pump for sure. Like those two, I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> the girls were three months old. It was Thanksgiving. It was Black Friday. They spent the night before with their grandma. This was my first eight hours of sleep. Uninterrupted, right? Since they were conceived, right? Because I did IVF, so I had all these fertility drugs and things like that in my system, right? Things that you still had to take prior, during, after. So I was constantly up, 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 up insomnia. So add pregnancy on top of that, I didn't sleep eight hours. That was my first full eight hours of sleep. Yes, I missed my middle of the night pump because I was out in a coma. I was, <laughs> I was knocked out. But when I woke up that morning, Black Friday, 24 ounces came out of my body that morning. 24 ounces came out of my body that morning. Again, sleep, middle of the night pump. <laughs> number five, number five. I tell this to everybody, all of my friends who are new moms, I tell them this, you have to have more than one pump. Yes, get the one through your insurance or whatever you can get that's free. But then go on Amazon, go on eBay. There are so many pumps out there that are not these super uber expensive name brands right um they're not your and i have a ton of pump videos so uh a uh, breast pump review video so please make sure to check the playlist for that i the top ones that I've, I've done um but have more than one pump i had the bella baby i had the amita maya the amita finesse the motif luna the spectra s2 uh, I had another one. I had a Medela, but I sold it. Um, I might have had another one after that. But get yourself a second pump because sometimes your boobs, once they're used to one thing, and you're like, dang, my supply is just the same. Like something's off. Get a second one so your body can 
adjust, you can stimulate in a different way. You know what I mean? So that's number five. Get more than one prompt. You can get the Bella Baby between $30 and $60. Sometimes there's a coupon. Like I got mine for like 30 something bucks at the time. So check on Amazon. Check. Get a second prompt. I'm telling you it's going to be the best thing for you. <laughs> number six. Change your pump parts. This little flange, change them out. This one's probably, this one's 28 millimeters. Get a 24 millimeter, get a 21 millimeter, whatever works for your boob. I had like three different sizes depending on the pump that I had. So I would switch them out whenever I needed to. Another part, the valve, these little things, rip so easily when they aren't washed properly sometimes you're like oh i'm gonna wash my kids bottle you don't even realize because you're like a machine at this point you're grabbing you're grabbing you're like oh bottle oops slit and that happened to me i didn't realize that i had a slit in my supply that whole day i was like what is going on like what is going and it was my good boob because some of us have your great boob that you get so much milk out of, and some of us have a slacker boob. Consistently have a slacker boob that always I got less milk from. So changing these out, so important, so important. I would say change them out once a month if you can. You know, they're like less than ten dollars, um, and it doesn't have to be the ones from the manufacturer. You can get an off-brand one. Just make sure you know, you know, you know, you know that which brand is going to go with. So change your pump parts out. Number seven, stay warm. Me, I was anemic as a child. I probably am still anemic. So keep your extremities warm, right? Keep your hands warm. Keep your feet warm, right? So your body can just maintain a temperature. For me, if I'm cold, right, I'll have those little bumps, those little goosebumps, I'm shivering, things of that nature. That decreases for me at least my pump supply so you know make sure you're under it uh, you have a nice blanket a heated blanket make sure you have you know a little sweater on have a robe on always had a robe on when i pumped unless i was going through some sort of hot flash that's the other part postpartum it, it takes a couple days or even some people a couple weeks you'll be having those hot flushes those night sweats um you know so that's that's another topic, but keep yourself warm. Don't pump in a cold environment. Number eight, keep a warm compress on your boobs before you pump, even after you pump, and especially during the pump. Things like this that has a gel pack. This one in particular um, is from Lansano, and any brand that I'm talking about, it's just my personal opinion. So I'm not getting sponsored in any type of way. It's just a mommy to mommy conversation that we're having. But things like this, right? Sometimes I would throw this in the microwave. I think it's like the, the max is like 15 or 25 seconds. It says I'm on the packet. But sometimes I would use it with the cover, sometimes without. And you just put it on. Just put it on. Just put it on. Underneath, like... Just move it around as needed. Keep it warm. Massage, constantly massage. Use coconut oil, right? Use um, lavender oil. Um, what else? What are some other ones that I've used? Castor oil I've used. Like whatever I could find. Just massaging warm compress. Massaging warm compress. Even in the shower, do that. Use your um your nipple cream. If you don't have any of those oils, use your nipple cream that you're using, right? Just rub it around. Same thing. Number nine, pump one boob at a time. And I did this especially with my slacker boob. Sometimes I would be pumping for 15, 20 minutes. This one, six ounces. whoop de doo This one, three ounces. Huh? What is that? I don't I don't have time. For, I don't have time for that. But and so then sometimes I would take this the flange off this boob, right? Take the tube off this one, 
change the pump, right? Because a lot of them, they're, they're dual settings. So you just remove that little tube out, hold that little button if you don't have the little cap that secures that second tube, and you just focus on one boob at a time. And, that, and I would be able to then fulfill that lack that I had from this boob and be able to catch up with the other boob. Yes, it's going to take you a little bit longer, but you got your milk. And number 10, <laughs> number 10, Hand Express. What? Melissa, are you kidding me? I thought the baby was supposed to do the job. I thought the pump was supposed to do the job. You're telling me I got to sit here and hand express? Yeah, you do. You do. You do. And it works. It really works. And if you don't want to do that, your other your other option is the, I'm going to kill the name. I think it's Haka, Haka, H-A-K-A-A. -A. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but it's like a self uh, handheld pop. Put that sucker on, squeeze it, and that suction gets the milk out for you. There you go. Those are your options. So those are my top 10. We got liquids, filling foods, sleep, middle of the night pump, using more than one pump, changing your pump parts regularly, staying warm, keeping your extremities warm, your hands, your feet, massaging, with a warm compress, one boob at a time, and hand expressing. So we went through them all, y'all. We did. Even to this day, I still have to continue keeping myself warm. Um, let's see. I'm going to give you a bonus tip. This one's gonna throw y'all off. <laughs> Cause these things are these this, this one is inevitable, but it's so 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 important. And I am a witness to this, right? Postpartum two C sections. Extremely painful, right? You go from hospital meds to the over the counter Skittles, what I like to call them. <laughs> You're in pain. Right? C-section, vaginal, things of that nature. Pain and stress, you have to not pump or breastfeed around those times. And let me just talk about exclusively pumping, right? For a second. Um, when it comes to pain, yes, pumping with... <sighs> pumping hurts. It's, it's, not a pleasant, it's not a pleasant feeling. Right? It's, it's not, it's not a massage. It's not relaxing. It's none of that. But you get through it. Like, it, it's like you, after, like, the initial few times, you're like, oh, okay, cool. But you got to keep in mind your pain tolerance and your stress levels. For me, as present as I wanted to be in front of my kids, especially with my twins, I did have help. I had my mom and my mom come over to help me. Um, so in those situations, I would be like, okay, I need to be with the kids all day, 24 seven. Like I cannot not be with them. But then I realized like I needed to pump in a stress free environment. I did not want to hear any commentary. I didn't want to hear any drama. I just wanted to be in a happy space when I pumped. Right. I didn't want to hear what I was doing wrong as a mom. I didn't want to hear my children crying at the moment. I just needed to be in a stress-free environment, right? Same thing with pain, you know? Stay on top of your medication if you are taking medication postpartum, right? No matter what it is, whether it's an Advil, an ibuprofen, or Tylenol, an Oxy, whatever they have you on, if you're dealing with pain afterwards, make sure you stay on top of that medication so that way your body's not tensing up. Cause I know for me, this is a fact for me, like I had to be pain-free and stress-free as difficult as it was <laughs> during my pump sessions. Like, cause then it then leads to clogged ducts. 
it then leads to mess up. It, it's a domino effect. Everything's a domino effect. So those are my top 10 plus the bonus. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, please make please comment below. Please like. I'm doing my best to try to get weekly content to you guys every Wednesday. Um, at least record it on Wednesday. Hopefully uploaded Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Um, depending on how the editing and everything goes. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, the Bruce Crew, Shop Melrose Apparel, Shop Melrose Apparel, Shop Melrose Apparel. Look at what I do today. Um, so yeah, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Make sure you subscribe here as well. The Baruch's Crew, Shop Melrose Apparel. And we're out. I'll see you guys again next week. Hopefully, I can get my husband to join in on the next interview. Well, not the next interview. The next vlog. But we'll see. Depends on how we can coordinate with our kids. If they'll let us talk through. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Bye.